Okay, you know, sometimes we get so interested in making the deal that we we can jeopardize ourselves. I had a situation on a picture years ago called the Black Stallion. They had shot it in Africa, and now they were here, and they were going to do some additional shots. And so the production manager called me and said, you know, you were highly recommended for this, and blah, 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 and so we made the deal. And the, the shot was starting on the jockey's face. The jockey's sitting on the horse. Start on the jockey's face, pan down the jockey's body, pan down the, the jockey's leg, pan down the horse's real leg, and see blood flowing out of the horse's leg. So I made the deal, blah, blah, blah. I hang up the phone, I think, are you an idiot? What are you thinking? You're going to make it look like this real horse's leg has blood flowing out of it, not just blood on it, blood flowing out of it. So as luck would have it, I look in the yellow pages and I find very near to my house a place that sells hides. And I go in there and they have one unborn calf skin in black, black stallion, okay? And very, very short hair. So I buy that, I take it home and I cut it from the back so that the this is the hide and I'm cutting it from the back so this hair hangs down over, you can imagine, the very, very short hair of the, of the, uh, the horse. In this area here, the horse's hair, short hair, hangs over this and it blends together and you see nothing. You see no seam, you see nothing. I have a little cut in there and to simplify the thing, I just made it and I secured it with Velcro, two pieces of Velcro in the back. I went down, measured it on the horse, made sure it fit and everything. I ran my tubing, everything, and I'm ready to go. So the production manager calls me on the day before we're going to, to shoot this, and he says, uh, now how much time do you need to rig this whole horse thing with the blood flowing out? And I said, well, I, I need about 10 minutes. I said, oh, no, no, you, need, you must need more time than that. I said, well, let me think about it again. I went through the thing, and I said, yeah, I think I need 10 minutes, but if you feel better with 20, let's do 20. He says, okay, 20 minutes. So on the day, I take my little rig, um, I hook up my Velcro, I've got the tube running into it with a, a little bit of sponge so it looks like some flesh. The tube comes out up the horse's leg on the opposite side of the camera, up on the opposite side of the horse, back over here. I'm at the other side with my tubing and I've got a little plunger. So they say, okay, we're ready to go, okay, action. Now, actor, okay, now we're panning down, we're about to get to the leg, start the blood, and I'm just over here going boom, 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 and you see the blood flowing out of the horse's leg. It worked like a charm. In fact, it worked so good for that show, when they did a sequel to it, they wanted to um, show a little bit of that again, so I sold them, so I sold them the rig. They'd already paid for it, I sold it to them again. So sometimes you just have to go in there and say, you know, I'm going to make the deal, I'm going to figure out how to do it, and then just hope the hell that you figure it out.